Hi everyone and welcome to Library Orientation. I am happy to have you here today so that I can give you a virtual tour of the David T. Howard Middle School Library. First thing, I would like to do a quick poll. So I invite you to click on the picture or visit this link and tell me what you enjoy reading. The survey is anonymous. It's just to give me an idea of what all of my um, reading lambs enjoy reading so that I can make sure I have great materials in the library that fit as many interests as possible. So I wanted to introduce you to the people that are involved in the library and that you can expect to interact with both virtually and once we were back in person. So I am in the middle. I'm Sherry Neal. I'm the library media specialist and I'm the person who you can contact for all things books and whether that's ebooks or printed books or audiobooks and research and anything else that you might need from the library. Miss Green is also in the library. She typically works one day a week and also helps with all things reading and books. Miss Poe is our instructional technology specialist. And while she doesn't permanently live in the library when we're uh, on campus, her office is on a different floor, we do have a maker space in our new library media center. And that is a place where you will often find Ms. Poe interacting with students. So we're really excited about introducing that space to everyone once we're all back in the library in person. So I also wanted to talk about our library agreements. What are our expectations for the library, both virtual and physical. First of all, when you enter the library, either virtually or physically, you matter. I am always happy to see students in the library and my returning reading rams in seventh and eighth grade can certainly tell you that I enjoy having students in there and having program going on and I always want to hear from you about what you're reading. In the library, we treat everyone with kindness and respect. In the library, everyone is a reader, no matter what they choose to read. I don't care about your reading level unless you need to tell me it to help you find a book. Um, I, I don't really care what exactly your favorite reading thing is. I'm happy to help you find something to read, even if it's not something that I read myself. Um, but everyone is a reader and everyone's welcome. We'll not always do everything perfectly. And that is perfectly okay because making mistakes is how we learn. But we will learn and grow together because in the library, you belong every day and every way. I did want you to have an opportunity to see what the library looks like, even though we're not physically there. And I just love this view of the library. It's from one of the hallways. Uh, in another part of the school. And I love how the library looks like this modernist box sitting in the courtyard. And that courtyard is really amazing. I can't wait for us to be able to spend some time out there as well. From the inside, here is what the library looks like. And you can even take a quick virtual tour of the library. I took this one day when I was there setting up. Some things may move around a little bit as we um, settle into our space once we're there physically full time. But for now, this is our setup. The only thing it's missing is all of you. This video will be posted in our Google Classroom too, so you'll be able to see it there. Uh, for now, we have a virtual library, and I want to make sure that you can um, access what's going on in the virtual library. So I'm going to take you over to that page. Let me stop presenting for just a second because it was sharing a tab, and I wanted to share everything so that you guys can see everything on my screen. All right. So.
Okay, so now you can see everything on my screen. I'm going to go back to our presentation. And I clicked on the virtual library, and here's our page. All right, we're going to talk about some of the features in just a second. But I wanted to tell you about where you can go to find books and other materials that you might need from the library. The first thing is to ask me for help. I am always happy to hear from you. Uh, there are a number of ways you can reach out. You'll have all my contact information uh, at the end of the presentation. I'll talk about that in just a minute. And you can reach me through the virtual library. So I'm going to come back over to that page. And if you notice, down here on the bottom, there's a red box that says Request. And if you click on that, that'll take you to a Google form or you can do a book request. You can ask a specific book, like by title, or you could even say, I don't know the title, but I know that it's in this series and it's book four, or it just came out by this author, and I will see if I can help you find the book. It would be helpful if you tell me um, what format you'd like the book in and where you'd like to get the book. Uh, and that way I can get back to you about the best way to find what you want. You can also search our catalog at the library by clicking on the catalog link here. And of course, that's not gonna work right now. But when you go to that link, typically, it'll take you right to our catalog and you can search for books. Now, the great thing is there are a number of eBooks in our library that you can access right away, but you could also search and maybe find a print book that you wanted and then reach out to me about how you could access that book in some form. So a couple of different ways for you to get information from the virtual library. You can also access ClassPass. ClassPass is our partnership with the Fulton County Public Library System, and I love it. I use it all the time. And in fact, just to show you how easy it is, I'm going to do just a quick search here so that you can see. So I want a book called Blue Ticket. A new book that just came out. There it is. I am going to request a copy of it. I don't want a downloadable. I don't want the audio book. I actually want the book, and here it is. I'm going to place a hold. I am going to pick the branch that's closest to me, which is the Kirkwood branch, and I'm going to place a hold. That easy. I'll get an email telling me when it's ready, and I can go and pick it up at my closest library branch. So I don't want to do a full-blown tutorial yet on all the advantages of ClassPath, but I will show you just a couple right quick um, some of the features when you come here you'll go to middle school and there are a number of apps here including um, hoopla which has ebooks and audiobooks and um, videos that you can watch there are movies there's music my daughter loves it because she can listen to um, current music that she really enjoys uh, there's also overdrive which is ebooks and audiobooks there's a uh, language tutor. There are also a lot of different research databases that you can use to get resources for class. So I'm not going to go through how to log in on all of this, but I am going to put information in the Google Classroom so that you'll know how to go through all this. And I'll post up a video tutorial about how you log in to each of the various apps. And then if you have questions, you can always reach out to me and we can schedule a time to meet through Zoom or Google Meet where we can walk through the process and make sure that you're logged in if you have trouble uh, once you see those instructions. The other option, so you can ask me, you can go to the virtual library, you can use ClassPass, you can also use my backpack. Now, my backpack actually has uh, a number of resources. It has audiobooks on Audible and Audiobook Book Cloud, which are these two apps right here. It also has a variety of ebook resources in the ebook folder, so books that you can access and read on your device. And there's an app called MyOn that also has ebooks. Uh, in addition, if you click on that ebook folder, there's also a way to get to ClassPass through that. So there are a number of ways for you to get resources. So I don't want you to feel like that just because of virtual, you can't access any of the resources in the library. You can, and I'm happy to help you. And as I note up on the top of the screen here, there is going to be a quick guide 
to how you access all these different apps uh, in the Google Classroom. So this is just again a close up picture of the virtual library. If you click here and welcome to your virtual library, you'll get the little tour that we saw. There's a schedule where you can look at my calendar and see when I'm available. I do post announcements weekly, so you'll be able to come in and flip through and you'll see that this week, let's see if it'll come up, that I post that I have orientation coming up. And then all my contact information is also always on the announcements. You can also access our policy manual, which you guys probably won't need that much. Um, the catalog, there's class pass link. So you don't even have to remember the link. You can just come here and find it. There are more online resources here for a lot of different fun things you could access. I have a, a guide for how you can use images that you find online. Uh, this is a resource, this free ebooks and read alouds was put together by someone else, but it has a lot of different apps that you can use to access ebooks and audiobooks. Meet the librarians, a little bit of information about me. Uh, news is also a link that someone else prepared, but it'll take you to news, uh, various news sites. And eventually, I hope to have a what I'm reading link here where you'll be able to see what I'm reading and maybe book uh, little book talks. So how do you reach me? I mentioned a few times that that's one of the best things to do if you have questions or need help is just to reach out to me. So the best way to reach me is always by email. You'll get the quickest response if you email me. I check email regularly throughout the day. The fact is, while I have a phone number for the library, there is no phone hooked up in the library right now, and I'm not at the library. So email is the quickest way. You can also keep up with what the library is doing on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. I will post some things periodically on YouTube. Instagram is where I'm most active. I love to share information about upcoming events and books that I'm reading, uh, things that you might find interesting. Uh, Twitter, I mainly use for school updates. Facebook, I think you'll probably think that Facebook is mainly for your parents and for other teachers, but I do post uh, content there. It's usually the same stuff that I'm posting on Instagram. I am looking at how to incorporate TikTok and other apps into library programming. So if you have ideas about that, feel free to share those with me. And of course, you can always visit the virtual library uh, to get in touch with me. There are a number of ways on there back over here. If you look down here at the bottom of the screen, all of these ways are, are ways to keep in touch with and follow the library. So the final thing is I want you to join the library Google Classroom. All students should join the library Google Classroom because I will post a lot of information and resources there throughout the year that you'll want to have access to. Here's the code for joining. And so all you have to do is go into Google Classroom and type this code in and click join and you will be a member. Eventually, um, we're still working on logistics, but those of y'all who were at Inman will know about Library Lunch Bunch and remember uh, it's a great program and we actually had more people interested than we had space for participants, which is a good problem to have. Uh, but I want to continue Library Lunch Bunch in some way virtually and then, of course, once we're back in school in person, uh, I'm working on plans. So just join the Google Classroom and then stay tuned for opportunities to learn how you can join Lunch Bunch. We may be doing some different things this year, some thematic things, and we may just have some open days where you can come in and uh, chat during lunchtime with other classmates or and even students in other grade levels. We'll sort of figure it out as we go. If you have questions, again, please don't hesitate to reach out and let me know. I look forward to seeing all of you in the library, either virtually or uh, when we're back in person. But uh, until then, I hope you all have a great week ahead of you, and please come see me in the library.